I listen to a lot of podcasts. I watch a lot of videos. I watch a lot of fitness influencers. And that's where I learn a lot. You know, I've been doing this. I'm a health club owner. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm nothing. You hear me say this all the time. But I'm a person who's, for an older guy, I'm pretty fit. And the reason for that is because I've stayed on top of it. I've always been into health and fitness. And even though I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian or a doctor, I've taken, I don't even know how many classes in nutrition and exercise physiology and you name it. I've been to school. I just don't have a degree in that, in those particular types of subjects. But I've taken multiple classes. What I relate to you is what's worked for me, what I did and what happened. So if you're interested in that, subscribe and uh, follow on whatever, um, well, we're on YouTube now, so like and subscribe. If you're into, if you want to find out what I did, what I tried and what worked for me, is it going to work for you? I don't know. But I, I gather a lot of information and then I just relay it on how it relates to me. And so I want to talk about something that bothers me. A lot of fitness influencers, and, and I don't make my living from doing videos. You know, I don't get that many views. You guys probably think it's, most of you that see these probably think it's, my content's horrible. But I like doing it because I like talking about what works for me. And I have a passion for fitness and exercise and staying healthy into your older years. So that's why I do this. My income, my livelihood is from health clubs. And so, and I, I honestly, I've done, we all, we all sell things. If you, if you've got a business, you're selling something, you're providing a service, you're doing something, somebody has to give you money. So I get that. Um, and I do it too. I sell health club memberships, but something that bothers me is some of these influencers that are selling products that, and anyone can pick and choose their little, you know, research or studies or whatever they want and come up with something that they can sell or something that they've created. Uh, you can say <laughs> there's fitness influencers out there. You guys can make guesses on who I'm talking about that just rip into people, tell them they're big fat pigs and they eat too much. So buy my cookbook. Buy my cookbook. That makes me want to puke. A cookbook is not going to fix the problem. So, and a lot of, you know, I, I see ex-professional athletes promoting, and I'm not going to name any products, promoting products that aren't going to work. I've never heard or listen to any doctors that say there's research behind some of these things that say they work. I've tried some of these things, I'm embarrassed to say, and they've done absolutely nothing. So all I'm saying is be careful about, you know, the snakes out there trying to sell you things where all they have, the only interest they have is making money, selling you something and taking your money. They don't care about your health. They just want to make money. And I get it. People got to make a living. It's just something that bothers me. Here's one of the biggest problems with people that sell um, supplements that are, are have a formula. You know, they take all these little different ingredients that are maybe all good ingredients. And they put them into a formula and say, this is a weight loss formula. Or this is something that's good to stabilize your glucose, or this is a detox formula. And what they do when they do this, I've looked, cause I always look at the back and I look at what's in this formula and how much is in it. And usually they're not putting enough of anything in these formulas. So what I do, I've said this before, I look at what's in that formula and maybe there's a, uh, alpha lipoic acid in it. I'll go buy some R alpha lipoic acid and I'll take it separately. I'm just using that as an example. That's in a lot of liver detox formulas. Milk thistle is in a lot of liver detox formulas. So I'll go buy the milk thistle separately and take 
a proper dose, a proper recommended dose that's on the labor, label or what is directed to me by my physician. Instead of taking something that has all these supplements in it and ingredients, it just has a little bit. So they says, oh, wow, this, this ingredient does this. Well, yeah, it does, but there's not enough in it because they don't make enough money if they were going to put enough of all these different ingredients into their formula. So that's something you have to watch out for. It could be a pre-workout formula. Go look what's in pre-workout formulas. Taurine. Um, uh, L, um, that, well, let's see, what else? Uh, citrulline is something that's prominent in, in pre-workout formulas. But go get the citrulline by itself. It, and now you're going to really feel something. A lot of these... Um, pre-workout formulas have good ingredients in them. They just don't have enough. So I just think you're getting, you're getting more bang for your buck if you buy these ingredients separately. And then just watch out for people that are just trying to sell you stuff, play on your emotions, and people that look really good or maybe they've lost 100 pounds and they're trying to sell you something, be careful of that. I just, to me, I always start off, everyone's a lying crackhead. When I meet people, I say, hi, I'm Steve, and you are? No, let me tell you who you are. You're a lying crackhead. Nice to meet you. I have a bad attitude. By the time you get to be my age and you've been ripped off so many times in the health club business or whatever you're doing, you know, you start to think like that. So just be careful of that. And yes, do I have some affiliates? Uh, yes, I do. You can look in the description and see some of the companies I'm affiliate, affiliated with. But those are things I have a passion for. I have a passion for NAD. I try it and it works so well on me, I want people to try it. So I'm, you know, I'm going, go get the link and, and call them up. Call up Invigor who, or any of the, the products that I promote. And there's products that I also love that I'm not affiliated with. So when I try something and it really, really works, I have a passion to share that with people. Am I going to make, do I make lots of money doing that? No, I don't. It's not how I make my living. I don't, I'm not a social media influencer that makes a lot of money doing this. Maybe someday that'd be nice. But um, look at the person that's selling the product to. Do, can you tell, do they have a passion for it? Are they really using it? Are they giving you examples of what has done for them? How did they use it? If, if someone has a passion for something and they believe it's worked for them, then it might be worth trying. Anyway, that's my two cents on uh, buying things online uh, that fitness influencers are peddling.